Hello. This is Ferrymount. This is the model railway I've had here for five years. But there's been a model railway in this room for about 12, 13. Uh, it's been rebuilt several times. You may have seen the video from when Harry and I built this one in 2018. So it's coming up to its five year anniversary. So I feel like it's only right to destroy it. Um, basically, we've I've moved house recently and this layout can't come with me because it's just too big. When it was built, it was all on one board. It's a big oval, like a typical train set. And it's basically too big to ever leave this room. And even if I did, I'd like to progress. I think this has lived a good life now. It's time to move on and build another layout in future, hopefully. So we're going to run some trains for the last time before the miniature beaching axe comes and shuts this railway for good. make another model railway because I don't have one now and all of these trains are getting lonely sitting in the cabinet. So how am I going to do that? Well, that takes a lot of money. Model railways are expensive. So if you wanted to show your support then you could become a patron of mine and you can follow the link in the description to get a whole bunch of extra stuff that most people on this channel won't see. For instance, even after releasing this video there is another video just for my two top tier patrons who get to see like a complete time lapse of us destroying all three layouts and every single week there is a new post showing a new video I'm working on, a place I'm going to or a model that I'm working on and a lot of them in that cabinet no one's seen yet because they're for videos that have yet to be released so if you wanted to know what those are then become a patron. Also okay all right I know People get annoyed when I do adverts and things for posting about my patrons, so if you became a patron you wouldn't have to worry about that, but anyway, anyway, uh, there is another public video which you can watch um, after this one is released, which is just a nice compilation of all of the trains coming out of the box to be run on the very last day of the Fairymount layout. No music, no um, fancy edits or anything, just playing trains and having a great time before the layout went down. Pretty much all of these engines in the cabinet came out and some that have now been sold as well. Um, so yeah, do check that out as well. It's, it's a lot more relaxing video, whereas this one's a lot of me talking like this. Have a great day. And that is that. But it's not just that, because all up and down the country in model railway worlds, there's other layouts that are being hit by the beaching axe as well because Harry has got several layouts and uh, because life is changing for him as well he's had to also dismantle some of his layouts it just happened to be all in the same year so here's a very sad video showing the destruction of several model railways <laughs> in the space of one year uh, sad times but it's paving the way for the future uh. Hi guys, Terry of 672 Fenchurch here. Today is a bit of a sad day. Uh, today we're taking down Yardley. Um, basically, as for context of why this is happening, uh, about two years ago, my uh, also my granddad passed away, and after that, we had to put my grandma into a home, and Yardley lives at my grandma's place so uh then my brother moved in to the house to look after it and basically during that time i haven't been able to touch or see it or not that i've not been allowed around it's just it's just not been convenient especially with being at uni and things so um a bit sad really this is my first ever proper train layout so to to 
get rid of it is quite something. And it's one of my only, well, technically, no, it technically is my only main line because my other layout, Edward's branch line, is a branch line. It has a bit of main line on it, but you know, but no, this is, this is great because you can get up to running speeds. It looks awful compared to mod my modeling cap my modeling capabilities now. There you go. Um, but yeah, so bit of a sad day, but onto greener fields or brighter pastures or. What do you mean you're shutting down the railway? You can't do that. I've already killed off Thomas. I can do whatever I want, Percy. And I fear that'll destroy us all. Mm. <laughs> I might take this display cabinet. We got this just for the models and because I'm going to be taking all the models to my new house, this cabinet will just be empty, so I may just steal it from my parents and stick it on the wall in the new house. Maha! Look at him go! Bertie's still here from when he ran over Mrs. Higgins, I think it was. Oh, we love you, Mrs. Higgins! You're the best! Can I have some sweets from the shop? Oh, gosh, you can, darling! Oh, you're the best, Mrs. Higgins! Oh, crash the cow! Ah, nothing's changed. That marriage is still going on, although it's been such a long passing of time that the bride and groom have fallen over and passed away. Very sad. Just needs three others and there'll be four weddings and a funeral. wondering why Max is not here today because um, obviously he's been he's one of the other people that's quite an important part of this layout not necessarily to its build but more it's just its history of doing stuff um, he is uh, bless him he's currently in the middle of doing a giant move or I think he, he just has moved um, so he is not available which is definitely fair enough um, Still got the prairie running around at the moment and I think this is a good time to explain why this layout is double track but I never use the double track uh, and I will seemingly often wrong road when using it. Uh, it was never meant to be double track, it's meant to be like a preserved railway, like a branch line, so single track but I needed a big loop basically for the station which is sort of round to about there. And then it just left this little section which uh, was single track and I had a tunnel and I knew I wanted a tunnel in this corner and it felt silly to make the tunnel single track. Um, you know, I thought I may as well leave it as uh, double track or at least to show that it is a double track tunnel as it perhaps used to be. And I needed a space to get trains into the yard so I was like well I'll just leave it as double track. I've always basically used this track as a siding, as a, just like a store, as I imagine it would be in a, in a railway. But it, leaving it like this has left me the option to run it as double track if I ever wish to. You know, because it's not meant to be historically accurate or something. This is just a fun play layout, basically. As I say, it's like a train set, it's just so I can run trains somewhere. And. I found it so efficient having the station actually along the curve. I could fit a four coach train in here, and there's a bay platform, and there's lots of siding space and focus on the loco yards. And the layout used to be very different. The station was here, and the, there was a carriage yard here with a scrap yard, and then the loco sheds in a different formation. The hill never used to be there. That's all like one panel, which lifts off. Some of these buildings still remain from the original layout which we bought in a newspaper ad back when those were a popular thing. It was before um, Facebook Marketplace and things like that and Gumtree. You actually had to look things in the newspaper and you didn't know what they looked like until you went and picked it up from some stranger's house. 
Yeah, it's a weird system when you think about it. We went and picked up a load of these buildings. They're original, they're like kit built. Um, and they were really nicely made. Same with this pub, which I changed the sign to immediately to the Terrier. <laughs> uh, I, I can't actually remember what the original pub name is. Should we have a look? This is a grand reveal. First time I've seen this in like 13 years. Get out of the way! <laughs> Trains everywhere. Might as well look now. I have a feeling it was the crown. Yeah, that's called the crown, isn't it? Oh, it wants to focus on Trevor. Trevor's there from filming a new episode. Uh, so ignore that if I haven't finished the episode and it's not out yet. And then there's been a lot of later additions down the line. This building is from the Great Model Railway Challenge. A couple of other bits were too. This is the um, bit I made for the Pontypandy fire station. That's a stick on the side. There's the fire engines we used. The church was from Brighton Model World. I remember buying that back when that was a thing. Uh, these swans were from the very, very original layout in like 2011. Um, so they've done all right, to be honest. They've lasted a long time. I was supposed to build a station building over here, and I think I went as far as designing it. It was going to be like an LBSCR country house style station, um, or at least just like one or two walls of it, just to show as it you know sort of goes off into the sky backdrop, and then maybe like a canopy coming out across the platform. But never ended up using that, so I've left just two vans <laughs> there. That's the station, and there's a whole pile of dead people who <laughs> are permanently locked in the station. They didn't know where to go. This windmill was never supposed to be here. Uh, I don't actually know where this one came from. It's N scale, I'm pretty sure. We've had all sorts here though. It was meant to be the Backman Thomas windmill, all weathered, and it fits in that space. Uh, this guy is weeping. It's Windy Miller! There he is. He's, um, he's had a day off because the windmill's been moved um, into the waterfall. And then we had a Statue of Liberty <laughs> we put there as a joke. And that's gone now as well. There's a bus stop at the very top of the hill, which is absolutely treacherous. It's a very steep hill <laughs> coming down into the trees. This botanical garden I'm still quite pleased with. This was quite like matching the vision I wanted for it originally. It was based on a botanical garden I visited with Holly some years ago. And it was a good test of like mixing different techniques. The little raised bits are clay and um, the waterfall itself looks a bit tatty now but this is cling film it looks it looks okay when we first put it in and then I just liked all the windy paths that went everywhere and painted little, little dots for flowers and it's very strong in the tunnel as well this rock came all the way from Ireland from my ancestors house and I thought it would fit very well just sitting on the layout so everything has a story on this layout even that rock. There's a lot of memories here. Everything has significance. Holly came up with the design and the name for all of these buildings in the corner. It's meant to be like a little high street. We've got a wedding dress shop, obviously. Of course she chose that. On the left called Euphoria. And I cut out little printouts of dresses and stuck in a glass window. She came up with the colour, of course, as well. Like a lilac. And then we've got... Pebbles, which is a cafe slash bookshop, which like sort of Italianate feel to it. I was quite impressed with that. Uh, it's quite a nice little building with the um, plastic kit windows. And then Amanic Cinemas, which is cinema backwards, but it sounded like a cinema name. That was my design, I believe. We, we went for like a classic Art Deco style cinema with those old signs out the front, the revolving doors. What's on showing this week is the Unknown Engine and the Slate Escape, because I'm absolutely full of myself. 
the Unknown Engine was a cancelled film I never did. So <laughs> that was meant to be like an Easter egg for when that came out, but it didn't. Uh, this is obviously this is all going to get put into this video of like the the the, the collage of layout, layouts being destroyed, but yeah. So this that's what's happening. That's why Yardi's going. Bit sad, but there's nowhere else to put it, and it's very dated. So it's about time it went anyway. So yeah, let's get on with it. And like a lot of people who have like a layout in their loft or in like a spare room or something. This is downstairs, uh, as you can see it's right next to a window, so it's never been very good for light uh, and also like heat protection, so I don't usually keep the trains out here when I'm not using it, they'll usually be in a display cabinet or something, but it has meant that when it's nice and sunny, my dear cat Mango absolutely loves coming and sunning herself uh, over here in what we've called Fur Field, because she always just sits there and she knows she's not meant to. She knows she will be told off if she does it. She does it anyway because she's a cat. Of course she does. N none of the other animals have really caused much trouble, like you know, other pets we've got. Just the one. Also, because this is downstairs, often when I'm filming an episode or something upstairs in my bedroom, I'd come down here and grab parts from the layouts of like trees or buildings or whatnot just to use the scenery, and then they'll come back and sit on here again. For instance, just down here, I found a sign that says Spencer from when I made um, Going the Extra Mile a long time ago. It's been a very sort of resourceful layout just to have everything here in one place. The scenery changes all the time. This is a sign from the original layout, literally. I will miss this layout. It's it's been where I've always run my trains, but you know I, it's it's good to not get too emotionally attached. As I say, I've rebuilt this one several times, so it's had a good life. So now that most of the scenery is done, taken off the board, the next thing to do is to take off all of the foliage uh, and then it'll be to take off all the ballast. Uh, when I originally put it down, it all looked immaculate, but of course, as any proper modeler will know, you should glue your ballast down and I didn't do it because one, I didn't quite understand how to do it and I was scared to do it as a kid because I didn't want to ruin everything and two, I wanted to, when I was filming, I wanted to be able to do proper crashes, but obviously nothing ever happened with Yardley really in the end. When this was originally done, I was really proud of this as, as a kid, but now it just looks awful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all of the shrubs, I'm going to put them all in a box, uh, and then with the ballast, I'm going to hoover up all the ballast and try and separate it as much as possible into different, into different colours and things. You 
said the layout's going. Yes. Even though it was up here. I haven't seen it for years. She's not that sad. I forgot to mention that underneath there is this layout, which you guys may or may not know. Oh god. <laughs> This one is in, is in, sorry, an even worse state. Uh, this was meant to be the seaside branch line uh, in the extended multi-universe lore of, <laughs> of Yardley um, coming to Marvel. No, I didn't eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this, this has got to go as well. Uh, yeah, I rarely use this one for videos. This was more made because uh, we went to a charity shop one time and found a load of this track and things from it uh, for like 10 quid and like a whole bunch of boxes and stuff and this used to be granddad's scale electric board but he never really used it so in the end it got converted to this woo I'm less sad to see this one go although I like the concept I like the little beach siding I liked there's like a hole well there was a hole sort of uh, run through there and like sort of not gorge but like crevice i don't know cut out valley yeah it was cool but time to go Next is the fun part, because now I'm going to get the hoover. I'm going to suck up all the loose ballast and put them into the boxes. Um, so there's one good thing that I did when I finished the railway is that uh, just for not gluing it down, because now it means it just all comes up. Uh, but it means there's a lot of it to do. <laughs> Great. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun, guys. Just a minute, this is my home.
go. Basically nearly all done now. Uh, all the track is taken up. I uh, got all the accessories I'm going to take home there. All the other stuff is then put away in the boxes. Yeah, so that's kind of the end of Yardley really, isn't it? A bit sad, but it was, it was about to happen at some point. And who knows, might be a Yardley point two in the future. I highly doubt it. <laughs> Move on to bigger and brighter things. I guess when you'll next see me then is when we either take down Edwards branch line or when we take down Max's ferry mount layout. Um, but yeah. A big thank you to all of my brilliant patrons. Alex Goodman, GBH Train, D0280 Falcon, Sean Tempest, Nat, Random Thomas Fan, Peter Davenport, Ego, Kildane's Coben, Insane Edward, and Dark White 73.